The mighty Ganges River eventually had a problem. Due to a severe shortage of water in the slums, villagers had no choice but to go and grab water from the leaked water plant. Little did they know that the water was mixed with unknown substances, and those who drank it were sent to the hospital in extreme pain, with their bodies uncontrollably convulsing. The doctors had never seen such symptoms before and could only give them sedatives. However, just shortly after the doctors left, one of the patient's eyes suddenly turned white, and their bodies started shaking uncontrollably. They performed all sorts of high-difficulty movements and struggled for a while before falling to the ground and standing up again in a creepy posture. Clearly, he had turned into a zombie. A man was unlucky enough to encounter this zombie on his way home and, unaware of the situation, greeted it warmly. The foolish man was laughing so happily now, but soon he would be in great distress. When he got closer and realized that something was wrong, the zombie's grotesque appearance scared him so much that he stumbled backward. The zombie continued to approach him step by step, and by the time he wanted to run away, it was already too late. Not long after, Sudhir, who worked at the water plant, was preparing to go home but ran into the mutated foolish man. Hey! Thinking he was just a drunk, Sudhir didn't pay attention, but just as he hung up the phone, the zombie pounced on him. Seeing the other person's appearance clearly, Sudhir quickly pushed him away, but in the next second, the zombie pounced again. Just as he was about to die, Vishwas came to the rescue in time. Vishwas recognized Sudhir at a glance as someone who worked at the water plant and said that it was because the villagers drank the water from the plant that they became infected with the strange disease. But Sudhir had only just started working and was unaware of what was happening at the plant, so he thought Vishwas was being unreasonable. Angered, Vishwas was prepared to teach Sudhir a lesson, but in the end, he chose reason. Sudhir was frightened and fled, then went to the police station to report the incident, not only mentioning the zombie but also implicating Vishwas. Although the police didn't believe in zombies, they still arrested Vishwas, and he was detained as a result. No one knew that a terrible zombie virus was silently spreading in the slums. It started with a few workers who were about to go home. One man suddenly saw several people standing there strangely, so he curiously approached them, only to find out that they were terrifying zombies. And so, the zombie virus began to spread massively, with them rushing towards the wall separating the slums and the wealthy district, continuously banging against it. Soon, cracks appeared in the wall. The security guard inside noticed the anomaly, but as soon as he stepped forward to check it out, a hole was knocked through the wall. Zombies flocked to wealthy areas the poor security guard is the first to suffer, followed by the residents of the neighborhood. Sudhir has just driven his car downstairs when he is blocked by a horde of zombies, but he doesn't know what's happening and the horde is already surrounding him. Sudhir is so frightened that he flashes the amulet in his wallet and starts chanting a spell. Of course, zombies are not afraid. At that moment Sudhir's wife Seema and the others fled downstairs. Seema saw the trapped Sudhir at first glance and suddenly someone was calling for help and several zombies were attracted to her. Seeing this, Seema had a flash of insight and together they set off the car alarm. This worked and the zombies were attracted to them and they took the opportunity to hide. They bypassed the zombies and got into Sudhir's car. Sudhir finally realized the severity of the situation and stepped on the gas quickly leaving the area. Meanwhile, the zombies stormed the police station and policemen and prisoner were attacked another. Locked up with the prisoners, Vishwas couldn't escape right away. He had to kick away the zombies and then leave the cell with the prisoner. The two zombies were locked inside and the policeman who had just been bitten had mutated. When he saw this, Vishwas seemed to think of something and turned around to find that the prisoner had also turned into a zombie. The zombie then pounced on Vishwas, but was locked in a right hand lock. He pushed the zombie away with force, then pinned it to a chair, and finally picked up a jar and slammed it down, killing the zombie, but trapping him. At this point, a journalist arrives at the police station just in time to see Vish was unlocking his handcuffs and the two think he is going to escape from prison. It was only when they saw the zombie in the cell that they realized something terrible had happened. Then they left the police station together, but as soon as they reached the street, they saw a policeman standing not far away. The reporters tried to get help but found that the policeman had also turned into a zombie, so they ran away and the zombie chased after them. Suddenly, a car crashes into the zombies, and it turns out to be Sudhir and the others. When saw the policeman being knocked off his feet, Sudhir got out of his car to check on him, but when he got up, he was scared to death. Sudhir rushes to Vishwas for help. However, Vishwas held a grudge against Sudhir for reporting him to the police and was reluctant to act. In desperation, Sudhir had to cover the zombie's head with a helmet, causing it to lose its sight and stop moving. At the urging of the journalists, Vishwas, who was watching the battle, took action, first luring the zombie away from him, then grabbing it and shaking it off, easily eliminating it. But the crisis didn't end there, more zombies swarmed in. The group piled into the same car get out before the zombies get here. 
They wanted to leave the city, but to their surprise the whole area was cordoned off by the military. No one, zombie or survivor, is allowed to set foot outside the city. One of the old men was not happy about this and tried to fight the military head-on with his gun. The soldier did not tolerate such reckless behavior and a shot was fired at the old man. Not expecting them to be serious, they dared not say anything more and helped the old man into the car and then drove back again. As the old man was seriously injured, the group had to go to the nearest hospital. However, they did not know that the hospital had already fallen, and both patients and doctors had turned into zombies. Several zombies jumped at them and Vish was used the table to block them. Unexpectedly, another zombie appeared behind them. The man quickly used a woman as a shield and then pushed her towards the zombie. The woman was unable to resist and was about to be attacked. Sima quickly covered the zombie with a white cloth, causing it to lose its sight and wander around aimlessly like a headless fly, unable to find its target. Sudhir opens a door and naively thinks he has found an exit but it is full of zombies and several zombies noticed him. In a panic, Sudhir falls to the ground and manages to attract the attention of all the zombies. He rushes to block the attack with the table and then pushes it away as hard as he can. More zombies are on the way and Sudhir immediately gets up and closes the metal door. Everyone quickly leaves, but the rooms inside are locked and they have no way out. But the room at the end seems to be occupied. By now the zombies have caught up with them and Vishwas is fighting back. The people inside, however, were slow to open the door, and after a brief hesitation, eventually opened it. Although they escaped for the moment, there were too many zombies and they kept banging on the outside. Sooner or later they would break through the last line of defense. At this point the journalist seemed to think of something. She grabbed a bottle of water and some paper and sealed the glass on the door so that she couldn't see the people inside. The zombies outside immediately fell silent. The crisis was finally over and they had a moment of respite. So it was time to discuss how the virus had actually broken out. The doctor said they had received a batch of patients on the first day and in all his years of practice he had never seen such symptoms. Everyone was convulsing. The doctors had no choice but to give the patients a sedative. But not only did it not work, the patients became more frantic and started attacking others. Not only that, but the people who had been bitten also showed the same symptoms, and it is very likely that these patients were the first to be infected, they all drank water from the leaking waterworks. So they guessed that the incident was definitely related to the water plant. To find out the truth, they decided to go to the plant. They then tied their arms with cardboard to prevent the zombies from biting them. Once everything was ready, Vish was through his mobile phone into the crowd and the journalist called the number. As the phone rang, the zombies were attracted to it. They took the opportunity to slip out while the rest of the group stayed in place. They went outside, got in the car and drove towards the waterworks with a kick of gas. The streets were thick with zombies, but the waterworks wasn't far away and they were there in no time. But when they got inside, they found that all the employees had turned into zombies. Sudhir had a bright idea and threw a bottle of mineral water into the group of zombies, distracting them and allowing they to sneak past quietly. As soon as they got inside the water factory, they saw many suspicious yellow oil drums, which Sudhir opened and they were filled with white pills. The mineral water was spiked with these pills. The purpose of the water factory was to boost the immune system, and the water the villagers were drinking was untreated wastewater. It was the day that the sewage pipe broke, and the virus spread. Just as the men were discussing exposing the waterworks, someone behind them suddenly spoke. It turned out to be the owner and the director of the waterworks. The owner was not impressed by what they had done. He also claimed that he had paid off all the necessary connections with money and that in his eyes there was nothing that money could not solve. But this time, the owner of the waterworks was wrong. They didn't buy it, and the reporters and photographers had recorded the whole thing. Seeing that the situation was bad, the furious plant manager pulled the trigger and Vishwas was shot in the arm. The sound of the gunshot also activated the zombies outside, and the boss they were ready to run away with the money, but they were surrounded by zombies as soon as they got outside. The boss tries to bribe the zombies with money, but all they see is food, they end up in a predictable way. Then Sudhir and his companions also came out from inside and saw the zombies having their meal. They were terrified and ran away. The zombies had also blocked the way at the door. They had no choice but to hide in the next room. But the door was blocked by the zombies. Sudhir banged on the door with his hand. But to no avail. He were bitten by the zombies instead. But luckily, they had tied paper shells on their arms. Otherwise, the consequences would have been unimaginable. Vishwas is the only one blocking the zombies at this point. Sudhir grabbed a fire extinguisher and punched it at the zombie. This time the door finally closes. Sudhir continued to push down the metal cabinet to stop the zombies from attacking. Although safe for now, they are trapped. Sudhir rushes to call Sima and tells them to leave the hospital immediately, and explains his situation to Sima. But when Sima learns of their plight, 
She doesn't choose to flee, but plans to go to the waterworks to rescue them. However, just as they were about to leave, Sima accidentally stepped on the glass on the floor and disturbed the zombies inside. Uncle sees this and immediately closes the door. They were instantly confused as they tried to leave. It turned out that the wealthy man in the looked down on Sima for leading a group of commoners. The uncle believed that it was because of the commoners in the group that the military had stopped them from leaving, no matter how much the people inside pleaded. The uncle just wouldn't budge. At this point, the iron gate behind them has been breached by the zombies. And as the zombies close in on them, man outside broke the glass and threw a smoke bomb inside. They could only run to the other side, but there was no way out. And just as they were holding hands and preparing for death, the smoke triggered the fire system and the sprinklers on the ceiling started to pour water on them. All the zombies that were drenched in water stopped moving. They are a bit confused. Are zombies afraid of water? Sima approached and found that the zombies did not attack. They managed to escape from the desperate situation. Sima sees the uncle driving away and pulls him out and then punches him down. Sima was already driving away in the car. Uncle paid the price for his actions. On the way to the waterworks, they saw a fire truck and switched to another one. Meanwhile, the trapped Sudhir and the gang didn't just sit back and wait for death. Sudhir used a fire extinguisher to smash through the glass and they escaped from the waterworks. However, the zombies were catching up behind them and sooner or later they would be caught up. Vishwas and Sudhir had to use the railing to keep the zombies at bay. But to their surprise, more zombies appeared behind them and surrounded them. Just as Sudhir was about to fight them to the death, Sima arrived in time with the fire engine. They turned on the nozzle of the fire engine and sprayed the zombies, which immediately stopped them from moving. Curious to see this, Sudhir walked through the horde and found that the zombies did not react. Knowing the weakness of the zombies, they also stopped resisting and let the zombies in. Eventually, Vishwas and Sudhir grabbed the spray nozzles and took care of the zombies with ease. Through the media, they made it known that the zombies were afraid of water. And they also told the public about the water plant. The zombie virus is stopped and Sima gives birth to a daughter who lives a life of shame with Sudhir.